guys, thanks for coming to check out my video today. Today, I'm going to give you a brief update on my health situation. Um, I know it took a while for me to get my part two of my diagnosis video up. Sorry about that, been having some MacBook issues. Anyways, if you want to hear an update, then just keep on watching. <music> Okay, so I believe I put out my diagnosis in September. Um, it is currently November 4th. Um, I have been feeling much, much better. Um, I had my bone marrow biopsy and I got the results from that. And um, they showed, I guess, like what the doctor expected to see. Um, I did confirm, of course, that I do have leukemia. Um, and it confirmed that it is the chronic type, so that's good. Um, but we already kind of knew that just because I am alive and breathing. So, um, the last time I went in, my white blood counts had started to lower, which in my case was good because they were at about 21,000. And again, at the high range, in the normal range, the high range is 10,000. Um, so, whenever I went last time, they were at 13,000, so that's good. Um, I noticed that when my white blood count started to get lower, I started to feel better. Um, I have lost a lot of weight. Um, without the water weight, I've lost about 30 pounds since my bone marrow biopsy. And then with, like, if you include all the water weight that I had before, I believe I've lost, like, 60 pounds. Um, so... I don't have any more swelling, um, which is great. Like, that was terrible. Um, and we still don't know why. Like, she doesn't, um, my doctor doesn't, there's no research that correlates the two between the swelling and the leukemia, but, um, I am a part of this support group online on Facebook, and I'm not the only one that has had swelling. It seems like when that was enlarged, then my swelling was enlarged. My white blood count was higher, um, and that's when I felt the worst. I was sick. I was nauseous, vomiting, throwing up. Well, same thing. But I just was so run down. Um, actually, like, starting to feel like myself again. I am still, like, really tired on the weekends because I work so many hours during the week. Um, but I am, like, still pretty tired. Like, right now I'm super tired and want to be taking a nap, but... I decided to get in front of the camera um, ignore like the messy hair I just like took a shower and I like it when my hair air dries um, versus me blow drying it because I'm lazy and for some reason like when I get it you know like they blow dry it um, at the salon or like dry bar or something it's so nice when I blow dry it it's like out to here so um, anyways so sorry about that ignore the hair um, but anyways, yeah, I've been feeling better. I go back to the doctor on, let's see, December 13th-ish, I think, um, for more blood work. Uh, let's see. I feel like I had another procedure done. Um, I don't know what else I had done since I last talked to you. I had the bone marrow biopsy, which I'll make a video on, like, what that is like. Um, because whenever I was doing research on it, like, there were some videos like online but not a whole bunch and it would be nice to know like what to expect like whenever you're going in for that situation because the anticipation on that was terrible um but the procedure itself like because I was sedated wasn't so bad but anyways that's a whole nother video um let's see so December I go back to the doctor I have had an ultrasound because it looks like my CT scan found a cyst like on an ovary but I've had those before when I'm not on birth control, so, um, I didn't hear back from that, so I'm assuming it went away. Uh, I was supposed to have an echocardiogram, but I've already had one, um, and due to some insurance situations, um, I just decided that it can wait until next year since I've already had one in the last six months. That's just to check my heart, um, to make sure my heart is not failing because I was having the swelling, but like I said, again, I've already had one of those and it looked fine. I had one back in, uh, May, I believe. So, um, as far as, like, the important numbers go, 
like I said, my white blood count cell is dropping. My neutrophils are in the normal range. They're, of course, a little lower than normal since my NK cells are um, high. I mean, my NK cells are high. I have leukemia. It's not going away. Um, the good news is that I am on watch and wait, so I don't have to do any treatment right now. Um, the treatment that I would be doing would be uh, like a chemo, an oral chemo. Um, there's different kinds, uh, and it's not really responsive to that, so... Um, but some people have had good luck with it. I don't uh, know and I hope I don't have to get there. But if I do, um, my doctor is going to keep a close eye on me. And uh, let's see. So watch and wait. I just have to be precautious like around um, like sick people. I shouldn't be around sick people. If I get sick and I get a fever over uh, 101, I need to go to the ER is what I've been instructed to do. And that it's very dangerous. So that will probably be like that for the rest of my life. I did get a vlog mask and um, I love it so far um, because we are in flu season and I do not want to get sick. So I will wear that if I am in a very crowded place like that's closed in. Like I went to the DMV, I was there for two hours. So I wore my vlog, my vlog mask, my vlog mask and um, yeah, that was, got a little hot but I think it helped. So um I don't know. I don't know what else uh, to say about that. I should have made like notes or something. Um, but the good news is that I feel a lot better. Um, I'm thankful for everyone who has supported me and is continuing to support me and help me out through this. Um, for everyone who donated to my GoFundMe, I am extremely appreciative because uh, my insurance was canceled and I'm having to pay for going to the doctor out of pocket and it is a very very expensive I think one visit alone costs like seven thousand dollars I think that's because my blood got sent to the Mayo Clinic but it is very 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 expensive um, I'm going to it's November so I'm going to re-enroll um, hopefully with insurance through the State Bar of Texas um, since I'm a paralegal and a member of the bar, the state bar for paralegals, then um, I get a discount. So I'm hoping to enroll in their insurance program. Um, we'll see. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. I am filming some other videos today. So if you want to watch them, they will be linked down below. Um, well, not really a link because I'll put this one up first, but stay tuned for more videos from me. I will be doing another update here in a month whenever I go to the doctor. I feel like there was something else that I was supposed to tell you that, like, she told me. I don't know. I'll do a QA. and a So if you have any questions, send me a message or uh on instagram you can dm me and it's courtney glamour on instagram so that will be in the uh, description box below i really feel like i'm missing something i don't know i don't think so emotionally i'm doing better i've kind of like not acting like it didn't happen or it's not that it's not happening i'm just trying to go about life like as normally as possible um being precautious making sure everybody washes their hands who's around me making sure people you know aren't sick like around me um, and just trying to do what I'm supposed to do, you know, just keep living one day at a time and being grateful for every single day that I'm here. Um, so yeah, I guess that's all. Again, leave me some questions if you have questions. I definitely want to answer them. Um, like I said, I'll be posting another video about the leukemia in December, um, whenever I go back to the doctor and she's gonna recheck my numbers I'll probably have to go to the doctor about every three months I imagine get my numbers checked and make sure I'm doing okay um, so yeah I guess that's it uh, thank you for watching um, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and please subscribe if you have not done so already and I will see y'all next time all right bye